In this discussion, you can see how to create monitor field in Odoo. If you missed previous discussion related how to create compute field, please check link is given in description. Before we start to create monitor field in model site, first we need to understand the purpose of this field. Like when the user working on accounting transaction related feature, that time monitor field used and using monetary field we need two things one is a transaction amount and the second is a transaction amount currency both we need to add in GUI side so user easily get the correct information and the main thing is monetary field stores data as a float type and create our student model here we will create one more field is student face equal to fields dot monetary student face now we need to add one more dependent uh, field which is currency so first of all we will add that i uh, that field also fields dot many to one because this res dot currency is separate model and in this model you can see all currency details string currency after that one we have to register this two columns into form view so here field name equal to currency underscore id and in last we will use that field name the monitor field name student face going to terminal and upgrade the module apps student and upgrading the same module going to student model you can see here this student fees which is 0, 0.00 which is a plot field one more field we added here is a currency and this is a combo box and which is a many to one field you can see here we have three fields euro INR and UST if I'm click this one you can see here the symbol automatically add after the amount like 1000 student fees suppose and currency is EUR euro if I'm changing from INR you can see like this way it will automatically change this student fees field if I'm changing to USD you can see here it comes before the amount so like this way you can also add this is the monetary field we can use in any model so now I'm trying to create one simple float field so you can also easily understand what is the difference between from these two fields student okay total phase equal to fields dot float string total phase now we have to register this field here and going to terminal and restart the service plus upgrade the module going to front end side and refreshing the page so you can see here these two fields this is a monetary field 
and this is a simple float field. Let's say I'm just adding here and save. You can see here there is no any currency available visible here. So this is a monitor field and this is a simple float field. Now if you want to add if you want to convert this simple float field into monetary field it is also possible using widget so right now going to in xml side and simply we will use here widget equal to monetary that's it and upgrading the module going to front end side and refresh the page so you can see now this simple float field also converted into monetary field if i'm changing to euro you can see here now it will affect like this way you can also convert your simple float field into monetary field using the widget again going to editor and simply we are just trying to play around some supported attributes read only equal to true we are using read only like once by default it's a false and when you are using read only equal to true in gui side like user can't edit that field going to terminal and restart the service so you can see this is read only field you cannot change anything here but yes when you use this one it will automatically change this behavior but uh, the value you cannot change going to editor and you can also use index attribute and by default it's a false and when you use as a true it will create one index for this student underscore phase colon inside the postgres table now going to view part and here we are just trying to override the same attributes from here like string phase user having the student phase in GUI side you can see here this student phase it comes from python side using string attribute but if you want to override this string attribute it is also possible using here in xml side using this string equal to phase attribute going to terminal and we must need to upgrade the module because we changed inside xml side refreshing the patch so you can see this field replaced one more thing is we already added here read only equal to true if you want to also override from GUI side it is also possible read only equal to as in a double quote we need to use either 0 or 1 1 means true and 0 means false so right now we are using 0 and upgrade the module going to browser and refresh the page you can see here right now I can't edit anything so now you can see we can change anything going to again PyCharm and one more attribute we can use here is default so default attribute which will help to get a default value So right now we are using monetary field as a float so default value should be float if you are if your field is character in default we must have to pass as a string 
otherwise it will raise the error again going to terminal and restart the service only no need to upgrade and for this one it it won't be work because while create a new record that time the default value should be available so once i will click here and refresh the patch oops d e f a u l t spelling mistake going to browser and refresh the page so you can see the by default it's a 1900 we already passed into a default attribute that's it for now if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next discussion